It's your girl Shudu and welcome to my channel. Look at my life is lit. 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 Look at the gang. What's poppin' Shudu gang? It's your girl Shudu and I am back with another YouTube video if you're new to my channel. Welcome. If you're coming back, thank you for coming back. If you are new to my channel, you yes you hit that subscribe button and become a part of the Shudu gang. Gang, gang, gang. We still know how to do gang signs over here, but we learning. Anyways, as you can see by the title of today's video, it is story time. Highly requested. You know, y'all have been wanting me to do another story time. So I was like, okay, Erky, it's over. So, <laughs> today's story time is called He Ghosted Me. But technically, he didn't ghost me. I just felt like that was like a good title for the story time. But he didn't technically ghost me. He cussed me out. Like he literally swore at me, then brought me. But that wasn't really too long for a title, so I was like, ghost me. That's how the you understand. Anyways, at the end of the day, it's still an interesting story. So, <laughs> stay tuned if you want to hear about that story because my life is a joke. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, um, it's in my matric year. Yeah, it was in my matric year. So the time I met this guy, I was already in a relationship. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was already in a relationship. So I wasn't looking to have anything with this guy. So how we met, it was like an ordinary day at school, waiting for the transport. And on this day was a Friday. Friday obviously came out early, but the transport came late. So I was literally just sitting with my friend and we discussing some stuff. Then we see our transport pull up and we're like, okay, cool, time to go. When we arrived, there's like two new faces. So the first face was not new. Um, I had really like, see, he didn't know me, but I've seen him before because a lot of girls were into this guy. So yeah, I didn't go to our school. Um, we will call him R. Yeah, R. So R, I already knew R's face. So like, okay, okay R, whatever, I know. He you know, lives around my hood, I just don't know where exactly. And then the other, the new face was B. We'll call him B. So I see B, and I'm like, who is this nigga? So obviously I can, like, if I'm on the omon, the guitar, the omon, the omon. So I'm like, okay, he's a good looking gent, but who is he? Like, I've never seen him before. So my friend and I are talking, like, come on, oh nah, you understand? There's, we get into the transport, so I'm like chilling, just chilling, listening to music. My friend sends me a text, she's sitting in the front seat, I'm sitting in the back seat. She's in the front, she's like, the guy behind you. Um, please get his number for me. Okay, cool. So I turn around. I'm like, okay, let me get the numbers for my for my girl. Like, come on. Okay, cool. I'm like, yeah, hi. I'm Shudu. Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. He tells me his name, and I'm like, my friend likes you. I'm not gonna tell you who you find out when you text her, but she just wanted me to collect your numbers. Blah blah. I don't know what I said, but you know, you know them finessing skills. I finesse the nigga, and he put his number on my phone. Cool bet. So now as we're driving, coming to my hood, I'm like, he he lives in my hood, literally down the road. And I'm like, okay, that's interesting. I've never seen you before though. I mean, I don't go out that much, but like, I've never seen you, like, never seen you, never even heard of your name. So it's like, okay, cool. So then, shout out, they get all both of them. So I'm like, okay, they both stay like down the road, damn. Well, okay. Then the following week, he asked me to come over. So I'm in a relationship. So I'm like, I know what come over means. So I'm like, I'm not gonna go there because he cuffed, you know. I'm a loyal girl, loyal girls worldwide. So I'm like, I'm not gonna go there because I know what's gonna happen. So I'm like, okay, let me hit up my best friend. I'm like, Komodo, Komodo, let's go to B's house. Cool, whenever Komodo gets here and we go, you know, I told him, well, I'm gonna come with a friend because I already have plans with my friend and they're like cool no problem we chill with R you know but you know we chill with R and from there it like you see when they say people clicked we clicked we were a squad from there the four of us were a squad me Komodo R and B we were a squad like it was it was mad fun like I don't, I don't regret the friendship to be quite honest I really don't regret it it was like part, it really made my year it yeah what we had as friends really did, you know, contribute to my year being like, 
it was it was fun it was good while it lasted anyways yeah so yeah months passed by okay so now fast forward to september september what happened in september oh my boyfriend had already broken up with me because of this time but that's not a story time if you want that story time of why my boyfriend broke up with me because of b comment down below just say b comment b and i'll know it that'll be the next story time anyways yeah around september um we had i was like single so i've gotten to know this guy for a couple of months now and like i know the kind like he's very he was he's very goal driven and that's like attractive to me so i'm like actually like actually you know actually you know and he also kind of liked me it was pretty obvious to everybody in the group but like nothing was ever done about it like we never like spoke about it or dealt with the situation cool anyways now fast forward so now in the month of september it both their birthdays they a few days apart so you know they best friends yeah and they share it like birthday month but anyways yeah so yeah so now my friend Komoto was now vibing with R. you know they were like a thing basically so Komoto was like okay since i'm like vibing with R and you and b kind of also have a thing let's just divide the gifts instead of like both of us buying gifts for both of them she'll buy a gift for R and i'll buy a gift for b and i'm like bet it is what it is so I, the gift that I wanted to buy for B, so B's birthday was first before ours. The gift that I wanted to buy for B, like I couldn't get it, like it was out of stock. So I was like, okay, cool, fine. What is Plan B? So Plan B, I forgot what Plan B was. Now I had to think of Plan C. Plan C, I was like, okay, cool. You know what? Clearly the gift thing is not working out. So let me just take him to his favorite place where he likes to get food. And I'll just show up with like some donuts and some ice cream. Like that's pretty chill. Then go, you know. And then I'll take him, you know, to his favorite place. And we eat, we vibe, and it's a vibe, you know. Cool. So I told him, hey, yeah, I can get you a gift, but this is what we're going to do. So you're free. I'm like, yeah, I'm free. Blah blah blah. Okay. <laughs> Comes the day we're supposed to go out. So I already told my parents, we're okay now. Don't expect me at this time. I will be here. Bit. So now I was coming from something up for school because I remember I was with my friends that day and I was like I have to leave early because I'm meeting up with B. Cool. Now I go take a taxi to Southgate, buy the donuts at McDonald's because I couldn't didn't have time to go to Cream Grace Cream like it's really far. So my friend is buy donuts from McDonald's and buy McFlurries and go. So I get here. So I'm like okay, there's like five minutes so we're supposed to meet up and then we just walk down anyway so i walk down i'm looking cute i'm looking cute mind you i'm looking cute i'm looking cute and i'm like okay making my way downtown mm-hmm. you know because i'm like because i'm like, looking cute okay cool so throughout the day i tried texting this guy and it was one tip so now i called him and then it went to voicemail and i remember Hore, him and his squad because i get a give a meanwhile and honey do Driving. I have a phone, so okay. okay. Let me just get to his house. I get to his house. Kakokota. Nobody opens the door. Okay, cool. Bet. Cool bet. No problem. Kakokota happy. Nobody. There's nobody. Cool. So I'm like, okay. Maybe he's on the way. So I. Oh, he's at his fr- friend's house. Or maybe he's at ours house because they live opposite each other. Like, literally. Here's B's house. Here's ours house. So I make my way to ours house. And I knock. I can hear these people inside. I can hear that these people inside. I'm not stupid. Like I'm not crazy. I heard. How can I get a god? Hey, good ash. People are not talking. So I'm like, make it make sense. One plus one equals eleven. Cool. Okay. Got got happy. Nobody comes to the door. So I'm like, okay. Vele van kaela. Shop. I make my way. Time is hot. I make. Ice cream is melting. So I'm like, okay, let me just chill. 10 minutes, I'll walk. I'm gonna go 15 minutes, maybe he's gonna arrive. Go back. D- same thing. So I'm like, what's our long? So I just chill now. I'm chilling. I'm just fully chilling. So I'm like, 40 minutes pass, and I'm like, okay, he definitely has to be home now. Like, he knows we have plans. Like, it doesn't make sense. And he's not answering his phone on top of that. Like, what's our long? 
so I'm getting pissed like I'm mad now the lady there was a lady like around his house of course she seen me do this up and down I'm sure she was like and then Ona what's Ola now it's the last time I'm going holding everything same story and I was like fuck this I was like wait the game whatever so I got home and I ate the things <laughs> that I had bought and I'm like okay cool whatever so I'm chilling at home there's nobody at home because I said I, will, I won't be home at this time so I'm just sitting there alone eating the stuff and I'm like wow 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 I was really taken for a boost wow and then and I'm like fine it is what it is fine and then my parents say they're coming like in two hours or whatever we're gonna go out and I'm like okay cool then whatever they're like, what happened to your pants? I'm like, I, I think I don't know what's going on. Cool. My parents and I, we leave with my siblings and we go, I don't know if we're going for dinner or something. Uh, okay, we leave. And then when we're leaving, we're literally leaving my neighborhood. Get a text. I saw you in the car. I'm sorry, I stood you up. I was so mad. I'm just like, yeah. And then uh, I'm like, it's okay. I'm fuming. I'm really fuming. But I'm like, I'm not gonna argue over the phone. It is what it is. Like it is what it is. Cool. Whatever. And it's like, but um, we can still go now if you're still down. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm already leaving with my parents. We're going somewhere. So then the following week, so I was close with R, his best friend. I was really close with R. So now I'm talking to R on this day. I'm chilling with R and I'm talking to R and I'm telling him what happened because he's asking me how how did it go, you know? Because he knows Lucy, the vibes, he knows the vibes. So I'm like, ah, oh, bruh, it didn't happen because one, two, three, four. He's like, what do you mean? I saw the nigga at his house at this time, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I forgot to tell you what the reason was that he's yeah because I was like why wouldn't you at your house he was like he was like he had to go cut his hair go north gate you had to cut your hair go north gate really like that's like so far from my hood so I just didn't understand how that made any sense you know you have plans you go to north gate to cut your hair and then he said he also had deliveries and I'm like that doesn't make sense. If that was the case, then why didn't you call me? Oh, should you? I have to do one, two, three, four. Can we just shift it like an hour or two? Like, that makes much more sense than what he did. So I was fuming. Anyways, yeah, back to our conversation. I'm having R and R is telling me that he was actually at his house. So I'm like, I don't know what to believe because B told me this and R is telling me this. And it's to me, it's like, why would R lie? Like, why would R lie? There's literally no need. But turns out R, R is an entire boost actually he's like a complete dick that's another story time but Komoto has done a story time on R <laughs> I'll link it in the comments I mean what in the description box anyways yeah so not R R R or Sele like I feel like I just wanted to have touch everything but anyways that's a different story like a completely different video but anyways yeah so I'm like Oh, on this day. So after this day, I'm like, okay, whatever. So B was already acting kind of funny with me, like acting distant, not responding to my messages and things like that. So I'm like, what's going on with this boy? I'm like, okay, whatever. Like, it is what it is. Like, niggas want to perform. It is what it is. Then I think that weekend, I was going, I went to a party with my friend. So I'm telling her what happened. And then the day when we were coming back home, um, she's like, why don't you just text them, you know, and tell them how you feel, like, you know? So I, I'm talking to this nigga. Tell me, did this nigga not cuss me out? He literally swore at me. Like, and I'm like, what's a hala? What's a hala? Literally, he's like, nah, you're a fucking bitch. Oh, I'm gonna. Yeah, he said you're you're an effing B. Blah 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 blah. Things like that. And I'm just I'm just shocked. Like I'm like, I was literally just what I heard and I'm confused now I'm a fucking bitch I can understand and then he was like yeah I heard the things were saying about me blah 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 bruh it became this huge ass fight this huge ass fight and I'm like why are we even fighting about so apparently somebody told him that I said one two three four about him 
this, that, and the third. And I'm like, this nigga crazy. And then he just blocked me. He called me a bitch and he blocked me. And I'm like, what? So I tell R. I'm like, R, this just happened. He's like, that doesn't make sense. You know, R, you know? I seem like sweet Konyana. Can they R again? I'm ready to move. I said one, two, three, four. To this day, I still don't know what it is that R told him. All I know is that R is the one that told him because this one day we bumped into each other at night and I went up to him and I was like, nigga, the fuck? It was months later though. What the fuck happened? Like, I didn't even understand. And he was like, it's because I heard this. And I'm like, where'd you even hear that from? And he's like, I heard it from R. And I'm like, whoa. And R and him are no longer friends because R did something. So R, R clearly did not want to see us flourish But basically My thing was Nigga, why, you heard that I said 1, 2, 3, 4 about you Why did you not come to me and be like Shuri, I heard you said this Why did you say this? Like, why did you just cuss me out and then block me And then cut me out of your life? Like, that didn't make sense But anyways <laughs> Yeah, I feel like this video is quite long I've been trying to make shorter videos I am so sorry But yeah, uh, I tried to summarize as much as I can I hope you guys enjoyed this video About how I was taken for a boost I think that's a better title How I was taken for a boost Yeah, that's what happened <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe Give this video a big fat thumbs up And if you want another story time If you want a story time What did I say the story time about? How, why my boyfriend broke up with me because of B comment down below if you want another story time just comment down below and you'll get another story time and i'll see you guys in my next video hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to follow me on instagram it's, it's underscore shudu and on twitter it's shudu underscore hillary and i'll see you guys in my next video bye